All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do more confidence intervals using mini tab. All right, so we're going to take a random sample of 150 people who are spectators at a jump rope competition. We're going to ask them if they could jump rope for 15 minutes without either falling down or falling out. And 60 of them actually say yes. So the question is, can we construct a 95% confidence interval for the actual proportion of people everywhere, i.e. the population, who can jump rope for more than 15 minutes? And we can because we can say that p hat plus or minus z alpha divided by 2 times the square root of p hat times q hat divided by n will give us that confidence interval where we know that p hat is the proportion of the population that has the characteristic we're interested in which in this case is going to be the 60 out of the 150 and we're going to calculate this 95% confidence interval which means we're going to use a Z alpha 1.96 and we have a sample of 150 people which is N and we know that to get Q hat Q hat is simply P hat's evil twin so if we take Q hat will equal 1 minus P hat. And so we can plug all of this information here into this nifty formula here and we can come up with the confidence interval or we can jump over and open mini tab and get it done in about half the time. So here I am over in mini tab again and I'm going to come up to stat. I'm going to come back to basic statistics and I only have one sample, don't I? I only asked 150 people that one jump rope competition and so I know I have one sample and I asked you to give me the 95% confidence interval for the proportion. So I'm going to select one proportion, oops sorry that was Wanda jiggling her tag, one proportion. So I'm going to get this great dialog box and this time I don't have samples in columns I have summarized data and what I told you was that 60 which is my number of events out of my number of trials 150 were the people who could jump rope for more than 15 minutes remember we want to go to options and we want to specify the confidence interval and in this case default is 95 and we want 95 so we're going to say OK come back to our original dialog box we're going to hit OK and it thinks for a second and it tells us that based on a sample of 150 where 60 of our people said yes they could jump rope gave us a sample proportion of 40% which I know is correct because if I take 60 divided by 150 I get 0 0.40 what I know is that the 95% confidence interval for the true proportion of people in the population who could jump rope for this long is between 32% and 48 percent so I know that based on my p hat equal to point four zero that somewhere between this 32 percent and this 48 percent lies the value of p which is the population proportion so I think this was a lot better than the formula and so what we all know is now we love Minitab. I will see you guys soon.